Fast draining battery life, slow performance, and background noise during calls are a few signs that your iPhone might be infected with spyware. But don't worry, spyware removal isn't that complicated, and I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on cleaning out iPhone spyware. All right, first, very quickly, can someone really spy on iPhone using spyware? Yeah, sadly, iPhone spying is a real threat. Now, while you might hear a few things about iOS security being unbreachable, the reality is that every device can be hacked and used against you. Okay, enough chit chat. Let's go through the iOS spyware removal steps. First things first, updates aren't just for the newest camera filters or apps. Most updates are, in fact, for bug fixing or, more importantly, security improvements, meaning that one of the best ways to fight off iOS spyware is to keep your mobile phone up to date. Here's how you can do it. Open Settings on your iPhone, then scroll down and tap General. Next, look for Software Update. Now, in this window, you'll see if there are any updates for your iPhone. If there's anything available, well, tap download and install. After your iPhone updates, it will restart and you'll be one step closer to a spyware-free iPhone. Next up in spyware removal, iPhone isn't really known for allowing you to install any random app, but we shouldn't forget about this attack angle either. Unused or suspicious apps can be the perfect hiding spot for spyware on your iPhone. To figure out if an app is suspicious, it's a good idea to Google the app name plus spyware to find any forums or cybersecurity blogs. So, okay, you found some suspicious app. Now, press and hold it. After a moment, another menu will appear with a few choices. Just choose Remove App to delete it from your device permanently. And the third step in my How to Remove Spyware from iPhone tutorial is cleaning browsing data. Commonly, browser hijackers could be cached in your browser's data to reappear repeatedly. So we're going to clean all your browsing data and history. Open the Safari app and tap the open book icon at the top. Tap clear to delete your history and cookies. Then you need to choose the time period you want to clear. This will periodically clean your browsing info, helping you keep out spyware. The last step is a bit more drastic. If the spyware is really tough to remove, you might need to start over by erasing everything on your iPhone, or in other words, doing an iPhone factory reset. But remember, this erases everything. So back up your information to at least a few different places. Once your media is securely backed, open settings, tap general, then scroll down and tap reset. Find and click erase all content and settings. Next, enter your password and press confirm. Your iPhone will wipe everything and start fresh. Just set up your iPhone and all spyware should be gone. After a successful spyware removal, iPhone users need to take further steps to prevent any future attacks. Here are some essential measures to keep your device safe. The first and most important step for anything is don't download anything suspicious. Don't click any shady links or visit any websites that just don't feel right. Another fundamental step is to use strong login credentials. This rule applies to everything, not only your iPhone. Make sure to set up a lock screen passcode and don't just use your date of birth, you know, your publicly available info. Additionally, consider using longer and unique passwords for your various accounts. Maybe even consider a good mobile password manager for this. You can enhance security by using biometric identification methods like Face ID or Touch ID. These are imperfect, but combined, they create a much tougher security for malicious actors to crack. One popular way to enhance your overall security is by enabling two-factor authentication for your accounts whenever possible. Now, this means you'll need more than just a password to log in. There are a lot of different methods of two-factor authentication. Usually, a code is sent to your phone or email that you'll need to enter, but you can also get an automated phone call. To enable 2FA, check your iPhone security settings. There, you'll see all available options for your iPhone. Okay, so probably the best and easiest way of protecting your iPhone from online threats is by using a good mobile antivirus. I personally recommend going with Total AV or Norton for this task. They offer real-time monitoring and other optimization tools to safeguard your device from potential spyware attacks. I recommend Total AV for beginners since it's easy to use, and more expensive plans include a VPN as well as a password manager. 
Norton, on the other hand, is more of an intermediate to advanced user antivirus. It can be a bit more confusing, but it comes with everything that Total AV has to offer, plus a few more advanced features. And my last piece of advice is to take your device's security a step further by using a virtual private network, or VPN. Now, if you don't know, a VPN encrypts your internet traffic, making it extremely difficult for anyone to spy on your online activities. It's especially useful when using public Wi-Fi networks, which is a way for spyware to get into your device. The two recommendations for this would be NordVPN or Surfshark. Surfshark is great for beginners or users that have lots of devices. It also has more countries to choose from, making it good not only for security versatility, but also avoiding IP blocks. NordVPN, on the other hand, has more servers, advanced features, and customization. Oh, and NordPass offers a cybersecurity bundle with a VPN, password manager, malware tool, and an ad blocker. While Surfshark can offer a cheaper antivirus plus VPN plus ad blocker combo. If you want to grab this combo or any recommendation that I've mentioned in this video, I'll leave my best discount deals in the description. All right, that's about all you need to know about iPhone spyware and how to fight it. Having a strong cybersecurity suite like an antivirus and a VPN will help prevent future spyware from getting into your device. But also, don't forget to keep an eye out for any suspicious behavior or apps. Hey, thanks for sticking to the end. You can find more videos like this on the screen right now. If you still have questions on how to remove spyware from iPhone or other mobile devices, feel free to leave a comment down below. For everyone else, I hope I see you in my next tutorial.